I got a standing desk. Hello everybody, John Fulford here. Yes, it is 4.30 in the morning. Before we get started with today's video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I drop a new video. Okay, so I'm doing this video because I am implementing some life changes. Nothing super drastic, but still some significant changes in my life and the way I conduct myself uh, going forward. Okay, so I want to share with everybody in the YouTube community and in you know the community in general at large in Hollywood, around the country, and around the world. I'm curious to hear what you all think about these life changes. Uh, you know what your opinions are on it. So drop a comment or two below and let me know what you think. Am I right? Am I wrong? What are some of the, the, the good aspects about what I'm doing? What are some of the bad aspects? So let's get into what I'm doing. It's going to be a few changes. First and foremost, I need to start waking up at 4.30 a.m. again. Okay. Back in late 2017, I woke up at 4.30 a.m. for six to eight weeks. I was doing it consistently, seven days a week. The day after Thanksgiving, wake up at 4.30 a.m. Saturday, wake up at 4.30 a.m. Sunday, 4.30 a.m. Consistently, okay? Was it hard? Yes, okay? Um, it was not fun waking up that early, but I got more done. I did more work. I ate healthier, and I exercised more in, in that time period than I ever did before or since, okay? I don't know what it is when you wake up super early and you get your exercise done first thing in the morning, it sets the tune for your entire day, okay? And when you wake up super early, you eat a nice healthy breakfast, and then you do you exercise, and then by the time you get done exercising, it's still like super early, and then you start getting work done. You, you could get a lot of stuff done, okay, by waking up at 4.30 a.m., all right? I was also going to bed at 8 p.m., which is why I stopped waking up so early because I felt wrongly that I was missing out on a lot of uh, industry socialization stuff that was taking place past my bedtime. I know that sounds kind of strange coming from an adult, but it is what it is, which leads me to life change number two. No more industry events unless it's for a charitable cause. So fundraisers, I'll be there. Charity events, I'll be there. Random industry events, no offense. Hey, that rhymes. But I will not be attending. I will be going to bed early instead of attending. Um, I'll still do my industry meetings. You know, I'll go to people's offices. I will see people on a one-on-one -on -one basis, you know, around town during working hours or, or after work or on weekends. That, yes. But these industry happy hour networking social events, for me, I'm not doing them anymore unless it's for a charitable cause. It's a food drive, like every Wednesday by the animal shelter. There's a line like wrapped around the block with people in line to get free food. Okay, is it for something like that? I'll be there. Music instrument donation drive, I will be there. Okay, but just random happy hour stuff, I can't do it for the foreseeable future. It will interfere with my waking up at 4.30 a.m. Third lifestyle change, was, which is actually kind of a reversion, okay? Travel more. We have to travel more. Last year, I got the Hong Kong flu in Hong Kong, and I haven't traveled overseas since. We're going to go to a bunch of different places. We're going to meet a bunch of different people. I'm going to be bringing my video gear. I'm going to be bringing my audio gear. We're going to have a great time. We're going to record some great music and then present it to the world at large. And lastly, but not leastly, I'll be doing more podcasts, more videos, and more live streams. Speaking of which, our next live stream is Thursday, June 20th at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific time right here on this channel. I can't wait to see everybody. I can't wait to meet everybody. I can't wait to listen to your music. Okay, what do you think about these lifestyle changes that I'm making? Do you want to make the same changes with me and we can hold each other accountable? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching. Here's some more videos you might like. Don't forget to subscribe and email me musiclicensingpodcast at gmail.com. 
to join the John Fulford YouTube community. See you next time.